Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a WAMP server running on Windows Server 2019 on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed and pre-configured WAMP server. So simply click on launch. After that. You would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and the disk space according to your requirements as well. Once satisfied with the setting, simply click on accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After this, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this we need to create a new Windows Administrator account. For this, simply click on this drop down button and then click on set Windows password. Then it is going to ask you for the username so I am going to pass it as CIS admin and then hit set. Now it is going to take a few moments but it will display you your password for logging into Windows Server 2019. So copy this password and place it somewhere safe. Once that is done, simply click on this hamburger icon and then choose compute engine. And then what you're going to do is that you're simply going to hit windows and type in remote desktop connection. And in here, you're going to pass in the external IP address of your virtual machine over to this field. You're going to click on show options, pass the username as CIS admin, which I've just created and then hit connect. Now it is going to ask you for your password. So paste in the password that was given or was shown to you previously. After that is done, it is going to prompt you that you are trying to connect to a remote host so click on yes and wait for the RDP connection to fully establish. And after that you need to wait for the windows server to completely load as well. Now once the windows server has completely loaded, the very first step is to actually launch the WAMP server. For this double click on this icon on the desktop. Now it is going to take a few moments but it is going to launch the WAMP server. Once that is done, you would be able to see this icon right over here. If this icon is green, this means that all of the services are running perfectly. Now you get multiple different options with this WAMP server. So if you left click on it, you have different options like localhost, PHP my admin, adminer and so much more. And if you right click on it, you can view the WAMP settings and you can view the different tool that come with this WAMP server. So let's just say that you want to use MariaDB or MySQL with this WAMP server. For that simply right click on it, head over to WAMP setting and make sure that the desired database has been selected or marked as ticked. And then we have another tool that is to convert or invert the default database from MySQL to MariaDB and vice versa. So if this is set to let's say MariaDB and you want to use MySQL as the default database then simply click on this button that would change the default settings for the database for WAMP server. And if you want to manage your databases you have PHP my admin. So to open up the PHP my admin simply double click on this icon that says PHP my admin. Now the password for PHP my admin, MariaDB and MySQL is the virtual machine's instance ID and the username is root. So to get the instance ID simply minimize this RDP connection and then click on the name of your virtual machine and in this details page you can see this instance ID so copy this head back to the RDP connection and paste it as the password and then hit go now this is going to allow you to access MySQL and MariaDB and by the way the default database which in my case is MySQL is set to port number 3306 and the secondary database is set to port number 3307 so if you want to shift over to MariaDB then simply click on this drop down icon and then choose MariaDB. Type in the username as root and the password same as the virtual machine's instance ID and then hit go. So you can see that it is running on port number 3307. So now let's talk about adding or creating a new virtual host. So first of all we need to create its folder inside the WAMP stack. So open up file explorer, head inside this PC, then C drive, then WAMP and then www. Now within this directory we are going to create the folder for our site or for our virtual host. So suppose that we want to create our site as CIS so I would name its folder as CIS folder or whatever you like. And then I'm going to come over to this WAMP icon, left click on it and then choose localhost. 
So this is going to open up me this WAM server homepage. So if I scroll down at the bottom left, I can see this button that says add a virtual host. So simply click on it. Now this is going to open up this configurator from where I can paste in the name or type in the name of my site, which is going to be CIS. And then I need to pass in the complete address or the complete path of my virtual host folder. So for that, simply head back to the explorer, copy the URL and paste it inside this field. After that, we can leave the local IP as blank and then hit start the creation of virtual host. Now this may take a little while depending upon your instance type, but once that is done, you need to manually restart the DNS of your WAMP server. Now to do this, simply right click on the WAMP server's icon, go to tools and the very first tool is restart DNS. So simply click on it. And then you need to wait for a few moments for the DNS to be restarted. Now once that is done, this icon will turn green. Now to verify that our virtual host has been created, simply left click on the icon and then choose local host. And then on this home page, simply scroll down and you would be able to see your virtual host named as CIS. So simply click on it and you would be able to access it. And you can see that it is running on port number 80. Now this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now make sure to check out other tools and other settings of WAMP and also make sure to check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up WAMP server on Windows Server 2019 running on Google Cloud Platform and also the link for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.